<laughs> Holy um, shit! Fuck her back in this school, lazy him! She Holy shit, the fuck she is real! It. It's real! Um, Link! I, I want to know if that's been there the whole time. Uh, if we could have seen that. It's still there. An unfolding mechanism of reed like chitin hovering in place. What is that? What are you talking about? That just. Nope. The old that man looks at the reeds, then at you. Insect. There's nothing there. He looks confused. The stick insect is over three meters. It has a portrait. It straight at you with its tiny. It has what? It, it has a portrait. A small head. Oh. <laughs> you feel your legs shaking under you, and your gun hand move to your holster to grab the gun. <laughs> I'm insane. <laughs> oh, there it is! I see it. Tell me what you see. I like how Kim sees it too. Look at his body. Kim, can you see it? I can see it. Four simple words. <laughs> if you can see, then you're not insane. But that means it's really there. Spinning slowly, in absolute silence, its limbs long and slender. Oh my god, this payoff! Holy shit! Be very, very careful. Inspect the phasmid. Um... Takes a step toward the giant arthropod. Um, wait, wait, Whoa. wait. I am not saying this, because now, now that we encounter this, I have no idea where the plot is going, so <laughs> I'm, I'm not too sure if we'll be able to save, I mean, end the game this session, so just make, like, a safety save. Just, just did. In case. Okay, awesome, awesome. What the creature stands the on long stilt-like legs, antennae hanging from his head like a woman's hair, white and curled at the tips. Will it have a it voice? It is no more than five steps away she, from me. She wasn't crazy. Reed-like tufts stick out of its joints. As the insect moves its forearms, it produces a faint hiss. Like a reel-to-reel -reel machine spinning after Shit! the Shit! We should have boosted the Inland Empire! It gave us the warning. What more did you want? No, no, I mean like in Inland Empire clothing. The hiss is different from the stream. How about Electrochem instead? It says something else in a lower pitch. Ah, uh, listen carefully. You smell. Ah, uh, this is the Insulindian Phasmid. It is. The lieutenant whispers behind you. With the familiar ring of a jacket unzipping slowly, painstakingly so. Oh, he's gonna take a picture! You glance over your shoulder. The lieutenant holds a piece of milled aluminium. He begins to pull it open extremely carefully. It's the camera. No. The flash will scare the creature off. Warn him now. Kim! The flash is loud! It won't like that! We need a photo. No one will believe us. Continues to pull the lens open. From the corner of your eye, you see a sudden cascade of motion ripple through the phasmid's limbs. A series of ultrasonic clicks fills your ear. I am not palatable. Do not eat me. I am afraid. Ah. <clears throat> uh, 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 Try to tell Kim to wait. I, I'm feeling that one real hard. It's afraid! Stop now! I won't be one of those fools who didn't take a picture. This is where we need to call pull rank on him again. <laughs> he has stopped fiddling with the camera, but does not put it down. You see the phasmid turn to him. Its mandible antennae reaching out. Its motions are quick. <gasps> we have the pheromone! I have the pheromone! I can approach it! I don't think the pheromone will do anything. His whisper turns into a skeptical hiss, but he has stopped now. 
The spindly mechanism turns itself back to you. Its oh. antennae taking them oh. the air. Oh. 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 Go so carefully! <laughs> Our corpse is marked by the stars. With your breath held, you take two small steps toward the phasmid. The creature lets out a series of ultrasonic clicks that swarm around your head like swallows. Like laughter, a sort of happiness. Sweat drips from your brow, soaking your chest. You reek of it, your chemicals. The tracheal system on the creature's abdomen expands in front of you to take in and- Encyclopedia, how do you know this? Smelling you. Oh my God. Hissing and clicking, it extends its mandible-like antennae to greet you. You're right below it now, looking up at the colossal chitin of its white limbs. The head of the creature is crowned by reeds, and its <laughs> eyes are like small Hello, I'm Harry. I don't really water. know who I am. It, it, it's smelling me. Maybe it is real, the feral mon. Then its mouth is agape. About now, he is ready to believe in <laughs> The insect's head is crowned with reed-like scales, the shape of seed heads. They rustle as the air moves. The ventricles at its abdomen continue expanding like lunglets, breathing you in. Your sour, greasy, semi <laughs> <laughs> uh, Raise your hand slowly. The insect stops its stridulation, seeming to observe you. Below its crown of reeds, little pinprick eyes detect motion, glittering. The world stands still around you. Suddenly, there is silence. No. Stop. Be afraid. Put it down. Put the hand down. Uh. Raise your other hand to the show that it comes back to life. Whoops. Straight. Um, um reach your hand slowly. Follow you, moving in tandem. I feel like you're gonna scare it off. Of the insects, small I, 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 I honestly think that I'm having nothing to hide. Raise your hand slowly. The insect. Suddenly. It's not that. It's an no. animal, oh. though. Stop. Oh, um, raise Be your other hand too. Afraid. As you do, the invertebrate comes to life. Its limbs moving independent of each other, as if each has a mind of its own. They are white, like stalks of porcelain, knitting above you, praying to you. Uh, don't pray to me. I'm nothing. The reed creature does not stop its stridulations. It towers above you, parting the reeds it emerged from. Tuft-like structures still rustle on its joints. Perhaps it is preparing to eat its god. Hello, I'm Harry. I don't really know who I am. No reply. A total ancient silence comes from its mouth, along with what appears to be some kind of foam. The stridulations of its limbs continue all around you. Uh, stand on your tiptoes and look more closely. You were right. Little bubbles form on the mouth parts of the creature, on its segmented lower lip. It looks to be foaming, slowly. The foam is white, then yellowish. The faintest smell, like you've never felt before. Like burnt roses. Kim, it's foaming. Careful, it may be poisonous. The lieutenant watches you apprehensively. The foam slowly turns a darker shade like burnt caramel as the insect moves its mouth parts masticating the little bubbles begin to burst one by one letting out that same smell like some burning okay kim Ooh. take the picture do we want to do that or do we want to try to roll this first uh uh take the picture first take the picture first take take, take the picture i don't i don't want to like we said before, that flash is going to scare it off. So I'm afraid we won't get this shot if we take the picture now. Uh, 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 take the picture! 
I'm pulling rank on you on this one. I, I'm, I'm going to pull rank on you. Take the picture. I have the mouse. I have full rank. Shit, dude! I'm going to do... I am going this one time to refuse you. No! 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 This one oh. time I am refusing. No! No! Take... Please! Take... Please take the picture! I refuse! No! Take... The picture! We are rolling! No! It says we can retry it, so we can't scare it off! We we won't scare it off! The picture will, I'm sure of it! We will not! I am positive! We it has warned not. us already! I refuse we will to believe not. it! We will not! I refuse to believe that! We will not! What is your argument for it not? Okay, fine, it runs away! Tell me, what are you doing? Uh, I hate you. In voice? Oh. Um, I have to say goodbye now. There's no more thoughts. That was all. The fuck that. Great. Now, now we won't have a chance to take his picture. We totally will. Fuck off. Tell me what he's like for you. Uh, Wonderbar. Uh, uh, fire. Fire? Where? By the way, I just looked at a guide. We could have taken the picture first. Alright, well, we'll get it again. Um, and, and by the way, there is no chance to take his picture now. Well, fuck us, then. That's weird. Why wouldn't there be? Great. Do you want to go back? I don't want to save scum, but now that we know... Fuck it, why not? I will do it this one time, because we're right you, at the end, and I like you, this Phasmid thing too much. You should have listened to me! You had no argument for it! You, you literally cannot argue with me on this. You have no argument for it. The creature stand read like the hiss is different from the strings you heard before. Listen carefully. It's, it's, you smell. It is. There. You glance. No, the flash will scare the creature off. We need a photo. From the corner of... I am not palatable. We need you to stop now. You see the phasmid turn to him. It's mandible and Who tenor. cares what they think, out. Kim? No, it's this it's one. It's okay. Okay. I don't think the okay. pheromone. The spindly mechanism turns itself back to you. It's okay. antennae taking their measure of um, the Take air. the... Um, the, um, approach it carefully. Oh, oh hey. wait, what? The creature tilts its tiny oh. head to the side. There is a sadness in there. Or is it in you? There we go. From the dream. Slowly, with your breath like laugh, sweat. The tracheal sits hissing and clicking. It extends. Raise your hand slowly. It is. About now, the insect's head breathing you in. Raise your hand slowly. The insect. Suddenly, no. Oh, uh, raise your other hand. Praying to you. The reed creature. Perhaps it is proper. No reply. A total, you were right. The faintest smell. Careful. The foam letting out that same smell. Alright. Like Here's your burn. picture. Okay, take the picture. Okay. With a slow ring of metal, the lieutenant slides the lens open and raises it to eye level. There is no change in the insect's motion while it's being aimed by the camera. It remains fixated on you. In three. If it moves, you jump back. I'll shoot. Here we go. Three, two, one. The shrill By the way, I lied. You motherfucker! Like blade of a sword. The phasmid freezes in its. Why are you like this? Head turned toward the lieutenant. I lied about lying. It stands. Do double subversion. Double subversion. I 
got you! Well, you know what? Congratulations, because now I'm never trusting anything you say again. You've tossed out your rights of trust. For how long? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I got it. Lieutenant Risper, as the creature's shape develops onto the photo paper in your hand, a polychrome ghost of the white streaks against the reeds in the sky, and you as a shadow before it. For all time. Uh, slowly go out and touch the, cre the creature's whisker. The antennae hang from a great height, with your hand shaking. You barely touch the tip of the left whisker. On contact, the kiting curls into a spiral, like the tip of a poison ivy. Its touch on your fingertip feels cold, ticklish. The sensation is electrifying, resounding through your body. It is surprisingly delicate, the curly end of the whisker, like a young vine. It's even a bit wet. Looks like someone's got hurt in a fight. This antennae is much smaller than the other one. Be careful, detective. It's moving. Hit your finger? You were right. It glistens with some kind of moisture. The creature in front of you stays frozen. Carefully pet its scythe-like forearm. The limb before you is incredibly light. Like eggshell. It's much lighter than a reed. You feel a soft push could tip the creature over. Its hollow exoskeleton collapsing. Warning! Uh, I don't... Uh, I trust reaction speed. I don't trust pull, you. Pull your hand away. A sudden shiver passes the limb. Looks like the creature is awakening. Wave by wave from its stupor. We got it. Another shudder pulses through the creature's limbs. It jolts back to life, like a record continuing where it left off, in a swaying, praying motion. Even the small black pearls of its eyes do not stray from you. I exist. Uh, I exist too! Tell me what it's like for you. Uh, fire. Burning. Fire? Where? Inside. I do not have fire inside me. In me, there is not even blood, but limb. Like sap from a one palm. Now, I will tell you what it's like for me. For me, it is a series of half-lit images. A kind of darkness. Being intruded upon. Transient. Moist. I am a detective. So am I. I was born to detect sucrose rewards and semiochemicals. What were you born to detect? Also that! I can also detect pheromones. The ones on you tell me that you are not with me. And that I will benefit from your closeness. In short, I love you. <gasps> oh my god! We've replaced our love with a giant stick bug! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I have this wedding dress, would you wear it, please? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, is this a dream? <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. If it is, Kim's here with us. Is this a dream? What's happening? Oh, okay. Sorry. I didn't realize that was a choice. I, I think this must be like the third time that I said something that was actually a choice and you completely missed that. It's happened a couple of times. Uh, intuited open. Intuited upon by what? Shapes of plants and animals. And internal sensations. A swarm of sound. Tiny vibrations on the inside of my forearm. 
all speak of complexities totally beyond my understanding. I am at the end of an narrow funnel. Weightless. So light. It only feels like something to be me. In truth, perhaps I'm nothing. I certainly do not have a soul. And if I did, it would never burn. Uh... You're the type of Wait... Hold on! Reading through all the choices, I think I found a better one! <laughs> the fuck is happening to me right now? I don't know. You're just a shadow for me. Far away, faintly transmitting. But for a curious smell. I'm glad to be me, an incredibly sensitive instrument. Few of us can begin to imagine the horror of you. It's all of creation reflected in your foreplay. You must be like the highest of hells, a kaleidoscope of fire and writhing glass. Eternal damnation. I mean, we did say there was a fire inside us. Yes. And when you're sleeping, and when you wake, you carry it around on your neck, with eyes open that cannot help but swallow more behind the mirror. I feel great, mute empathy for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's hell in my mind. I want to be you. You want to be a fast mate? Are you sure? Uh... No, I'm not. Why are you asking? Sometimes, when molting, I will grow a lost limb. One time something went wrong, and a small leg replaced a missing antenna. That's cool! No, the leg tried to move around independently, making it hard to walk. Y you don't have a foot there now! Yes. Thankfully, someone ate it. The next time I mold it, I grew an antenna again. This would explain its antenna being smaller. <laughs> uh, got it! Solved it! Officially, it was the three meters tall stick insect who solved it. See? It's nothing! Yes. Compared to the immeasurable, fiery Empyrean of glass and terror in your head, it seems trivial. I just thought you should know. Maybe you would find it interesting. Uh, what exactly are you? I am an unknown species of the order Phantasmodia, endemic to the Insolandia Isoma. For the last 350 years, I have hidden in plain sight. Masquerading as the reeds, molting, combing myself, unfolding at night to play with trash bins and boys. It may have unknown, dangerous biochemical characteristics that help it maintain its camouflage. No one unnoticed by the first settlers and the land surveyors of the Sussurin. Also, by the soldiers of the revolution and the officials of the occupation. Even the Seminese Islanders who came here first, but did not stay, have not seen me. Okay, so can can we agree on something here? Yeah. This thing's voice that's talking to us, that's literally all in our head. That's not actually happening. Because Kim has not said a thing about this. Uh, we're, we're making this shit up. Right? Because, I mean, why would this thing know what a Suserain is? I don't know. <laughs> I have stayed hidden through four forms of government and two scientific revolutions until I was accidentally discovered by a detective of the cities of Malaysia in Revolution, district of Martinez, March 51. Again, how would it know years? Like, our version of years and months. <laughs> um, and... According to the guide, we have two more 
Well, it's a page and a half of the guide left, and they're, like, really long web pages. So there is a chance we might not finish this. Hopefully we'll have a chance to save at some point. There's not much to do with this phasmid, I think, left, so we'll have another save opportunity at least. Okay, okay. Uh, where did this come from? All of this? Around us? The world, though! Not even the birds know that. Oh. Not even the water lily. Uh, we need to know. Perhaps it's sent to us by a god? I think we should eat it. Yeah. If it's a leaf, you can put it in your mouth. Or read. Yum yum. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, so... Uh, so you look like a reed, and you eat reeds? Yes, they don't mind. Uh, have you accidentally eaten another reed phasmid? Yes, I once cloned myself and ate the little ones. It was winter, and I woke up at the wrong time. It was an accident. That's insane! No, you are. The moral of our encounter is, I am a relatively medium life form, while it is you who are a total extreme madness. A volatile senior nerve system, ominously new to the planet. The pale too came with you. No one remembers it before you. What? The Nidarians do not. The radial asymmetrics do not. There is an almost unanimous agreement between the birds and the plants that you are going to destroy us all. Ooh. Uh, wait, the pale is human-made? It is a nervous shadow cast into the world by you, eating away at reality. A great, unnatural territory. Its effort coincides with the arrival of the human mind. Wait, 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 so... Uh, not going back on your theory, but it probably knows where the Susurain is because it's telling us the pale is man-made. How would Harry know the pale is man-made? For all we know, this is a way that, like, like we're pulling information from before we lost our mind or our memories. You know, uh, uh, through this thing, right? Oh, so like, it's helping vision? us who is helping us who remember. It's helping us pull memories like bits and pieces, is what I think. Um, at least in this case, right? The thing that this would know about the pale is probably something Harry read about at some point in his past. Is is my assumption? So, the phasmid is the personification. Of Harry getting back his memory, kind of? No, no. I, I literally think this is a random-ass, like... The Phasmid talking, at least, right? Oh. I think that's Harry projecting something on the Phasmid. What specifically? I'm not sure. But so, it's using bits and pieces of what I think is in his memories. So the Phasmid isn't, like... Psychically connecting with Harry at this point, or are I they refuse just like... to believe that's actually what happens. Because Kim, <laughs> again, Kim isn't talking to us. He's not saying, "Why the fuck are you just standing there?" Like, no one is having any input but us in the Phasmid, and I refuse to believe that it's real because I feel like Kim would say something. So we're just like staring at each other now. I don't know how much time is passing with this conversation. Oh, um, like, it's going to be like a fraction of a second or something. I don't have that kind of power. You're a violent and irrepressible miracle. The vacuum of cosmos and the stars burning in it are afraid of you. Give me enough time, you will wipe us all out and replace us with nothing. Just by accident. Someone hit a big bad button. How? We suspect it will be something like the oxygen holocaust. That wiped out anaerobic life 2.6 billion years ago, when organisms first started breathing. Only much worse. 
oxygen of that, holocaust? That's a there are no trees that interesting choice of words. Mm. Uh I mean it worse. Would make, mm, it, it would make some sense. Like I don't know if oxygen holocaust would be the best way to put it, but technically that would be true. I mean, think about it. If, if, if like this thing is saying, uh -huh. and animals were just starting to, like, break out of the waters and breathe air, right? If, say, a large asteroid on the level of what came and wiped out the dinosaurs came in and filled, like, the air with nothing but dust and dirt and clogged out the sun, it would lend then to the idea of these newly air-breathing species being wiped out because they just breathe in the dust and dirt. Um, and on top of that, probably not be able to find food for themselves. Ah! Oh, worse? How? Everything your eyes touch goes back there. You're behind the nose mirror. What if you blink? Are we still here? Please don't blink. What if you misplace us all one day? We'll just forget. Uh, have I always thought this way? No, you're only thinking it now. This is a revelation. It's in his head, but, I'm calling it. But, but, but what if I blink against my will and I, I, humans can't control when they blink. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Insulindian Phasmid, but, um, I've, Um, but, but, I want to blink and undo the last 12 billion years of matter expansion. Simeon Butcher, soon, one of you will close your eyes and open them to see that none of this ever existed. Oh, it was all a, it was all a dream. Uh, are you poisonous? Yes, I do not have a star to display, so I use a newer degenerative element to aid in camouflage. Do not worry. It is only destructive over long periods of time. Oh, so, yep, you're right. This is like a reaction of a second. Mm -hmm. The deserter. He's been here for a long time. Kim, am I having a violent epileptic seizure? It doesn't look like that, no. What does it look like? What does it look like? You're just staring at it. I called it! <laughs> Then, I think I'm having a vision about the final fate of mankind. Okay. Is it somehow related to the case? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Kim! Sort of? <laughs> no! I told you what this is about. Our... Our... <clears throat> The case! This is meaningless compared to this! Laugh nervously. I have totally transcended this case! I think you should back away from this. <laughs> Kim! You're such a buzzkill! I'm having a, like, per mind experience right now. <laughs> oh, I have to say goodbye now. I have more, no more thoughts. That was all. No. There is one more. Of all the creatures I've met, you are the kindest. Or the most beautiful. You want to stick with two? Uh, uh, I'm the kindest. Thank you. I also have one more thing to say to you. That woman. Turn from the ruin. Turn and go forward. <gasps> Do it for the working class. Of course, for communism. <laughs> I will. Tr I, I. I will try. She was middle class. It doesn't take a three meter stick insect to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Disengage slowly. As you're turning away, the phasmid mirrors your movements, stepping on the water. The long limbs carrying its feather weight without breaking its surface. Well, it's oh good that we took his fucking god. It's good that we took his picture. 
Well, what's Lena going to say? Do we get to figure that out? And Lena, it was real! Like that, it's gone. Skating away across the sea's calm mirror like a skipping stone, leaving nothing but circles on the water and something under it. In the place it stood, bobbing there, among the reeds, a collection of items. Kim, it took my gun! <laughs> oh no! Then it looks north with his hand raised to his brow. It can walk on water? Apparently, yes. Like a water strider. Only, I've never seen anything like that in my life. What was that? In the reeds? Looks like a nest of some sort. We should have a look. What now? Puts his hands into the ash. It's dirty and black. In some kind of strange, semi-catatonic state. Our suspect is not looking so good. We need to check on him. Uh, I want to check this stuff first. Okay. It looks like... Ooh. <gasps> there it is! The final piece! There's the helmet! <laughs> What's this? Oh! A rifle scope. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. How much... Wait, no. This guide says we only have one part of the game left. Why are we getting a full-fledged item with stats now? I mean, the um, the helmet was part of a quest. I mean, but why does the helmet have stats? Why wouldn't it have stats? Everything else does. Who knows if we have another roll with this guy? Okay. Look at that. Head as a battering ram. A fighter, not a lover. Monstrous looking uh, bug eyed ceramic helmet was the was in the phasmid's nest. The cell has some reeds sticking out of it, and it smells of seawater, but it's otherwise wearable, if not uh, uh, if not exactly comfortable. Putting it on feels scary somehow. I want, hold on, I want to see what the heck is up with the scope. A common 30mm sniper scope, attachable to almost any bolt action, 446 caliber. It uses an older style, non dotted rangefinder red range finding reticle. Seaweed is still stuck to the lens and it's suffered water damage. But it's time uh, from its time with the Phasmid's dowry. Right. Hold on. Is there a new game plus <gasps> option that we could use all these things in? Maybe? I have no idea. But uh I found Clash's passport. What in the hell? Hold on, let's get that final thought uh, that's ticking around our head first. Brother, you've managed hey. to collect all the armor pieces. Another point. Hey. Too bad it's too late for the big showdown. Nah, it's calling it out. At least my collector's impulse has been satisfied. Indeed, you found it all. Now your mortal coil is completely protected. Few cops are this futuristic. See? See? I was half right that we needed all four in our inventory and not just to know, oh, it's on the island somewhere. Yeah, but, yeah, for the quest. I never disagreed yeah, yeah. with that. Oh, oh, I, I thought you were saying that we know where all four items are, so you were wondering why we didn't get the thought. Literally, you were the one wondering that. Oh. Uh. At least, at least now I'm truly invincible. All right. Uh, now I want to read what the heck Claus J's passport is about. A well-traveled passport with visa stamped in it is issued by the Republic of Oranye and found in the Phasmid Nest on the island. You can open it for more details. So how the fuck did it get in there? The Phasmid's Nest. Yeah, how did it get in the Phasmid's Nest? Um... Because it was sealed in that ball. Unless, maybe the... Unless the guy maybe, never fully locked it again? Maybe the Phasmid... Hook... No, no, the... The passport would be outside of the ball. Why? May okay. Random thought time. Maybe the Phasmid 
thought the buoy ball was a phasmid egg, roll it into her nest, and something, 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 passport. But we inspected the buoy ourselves and it was empty. That's why something, 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 passport. That doesn't make any sense. Something, something, something. You're failing. You get an F for effort. Hold on! Hold on! Let me roll some... You get it. You roll. You rolled a net one. Oh, 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 come on, dude. This passport, issued by the Sovereign Republic of Orania, is issued to a black-haired woman called Katazina Alazier. Class your hidden documents from the MT boy. Ah, oh. so she like she mashed her name together. I, or Clazier is not even her real name. No, no, like, no, the, the black-haired woman named Katuzani Alagie. Klagie. Yeah. Like, like I said, she mashed her names together. In this to case, make, maybe, yeah. Uh... To make a new name. Um, look at the photo. It's Klazia, with short black hair and glasses. She looks boyish. Younger, somehow. Uh... What was this doing in the Phasmus nest? Let's My answer your question, question exactly. Maybe our man, Mr. Dross, took it from Classius, or whatever her name was. Hiding place, or... Perhaps for some... blackmailing plan? Perhaps. But that still doesn't explain how it got into the nest. I think the Phasma took it! Like a magpie? What a coincidence. Then it would also have collected the other objects. Which would be highly unusual. I can see how the helmet could wash up on the island. And the scope. Maybe Mr. Dross lost it. But to seek this out would be very unusual behavior for an arthropod. A curious octopus would do something similar. Or even a cuttlefish. Got a vendetta against Miss Aranye. <laughs> uh, perhaps it was curious. Like an octopus! An octopus belongs to a very different class. It's not even an insect, it's a mollusk. But yes, I see your point. Well, gee, Kim, I'm not a biologist here. I'm a superstar cop. Um, it says... <clears throat> it says... Cartesian Elagie. I mean, you know, as a superstar cop, that should have been in our script. She said it would be for... Anouk Meyer Smith. Anouk Meyer Smith. Katarzyna Alazia was supposed to be her real name. Where Klazia comes from, remember? God damn it. I told you she kept lying to you. She's probably lying to someone else right now. In another city. Maybe this is her real passport? Not a fake? Because this is her real name? No, she lied to us. Her so-called real name was not her real name. Somehow she's managed to lie to us about that, too. He all smiles. So what's her real name, then? I don't know. But it's not Katarzyna Alasia, or Klasia, or Anouk oh. Meyer Smith. We didn't even scratch the surface with her, detective. Perhaps it's better that we didn't arrest her. Who knows what hell she'd be raising in my district by now. N Put the passport away. Alright. Uh, We've got a good save point. Yes, yes. And, um, so, next time on Disco Elysium, we'll probably finish the case unless the epilogue takes, like, 40 minutes. I do, look, man, we weren't expecting a phasmid, okay? I mean, technically we were. We were expecting a phasmid, just not like this. <laughs> not like some huge stick <laughs> insect. I kept saying it was a brain jacker. <laughs> oh. I didn't expect oh. it to actually happen and be there. Can, oh. can, can we just please put this in another tick? Under Mr. Amoeba was kind of right. Uh, Mr. Where? where were you right? Please tell me. I, 
my joking, like... Where are your points coming from? Explain. I think I call... Well, okay, okay, I was half wrong. I was saying a Phasmid was controlling him. So was I. We were both saying that. Okay, so, um... 1% credit. <laughs> okay, no, I no, say, ten... I say no credit for anyone. No one won anything, because we were both right. Okay, oh no, but there was a Phasmid on the island. Whether or not it was somehow controlling his actions... Like I said, we were saying the same thing. I say we cancel each other out. Okay. There we go. We There's both win, we both win and therefore lose. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright. Time to end the this, episode. This, this, this was really fun. <laughs> um So, um yeah, I, I did my outro, so um later. Bye.